of course. Why would I turn on the camera? I see some random fish uh, just roaming around and I cast one of them. And this was my best black bass fight of the year. I had to chase this little guy with the boat. I say he's little, but I bet he is decent by eye fish standards. He hit the larva Z. Larva Z has incredible, he is 15 inches. Larva Z has incredible appeal uh, uh, to these juvenile bass. He is borderline adult, 15 inch. Incredible fight. He is completely spawned out as it, he should be. 72 degrees water. See, one more, one more. There is some single fish. We're gonna cast around. I came here to look for bluegill beds, but now I'm gonna cast a, a few times for uh, uh, this uh, bass. I'll cast the larva Z and a little kite. See if we can connect with a couple more uh, little bass. See if we're gonna get a bed here. And two close. Eight feet. Too close. Oh man, still no bed here. Is this a bed here? I mean, is this a bed? Man, this might be a bed. This might be a bed. Why is it? Because my motor is vibrating. I think this was a bed. We're gonna go drop talent. Howdy folks, I believe that we folks have our first bluegill bed of the year on a lake. I saw little bluegill beds on Tennessee River, caught some. So one shell cracker, just one shell cracker bed on Tennessee River, one, a couple red breast. But this here, it's very late, is the first bluegill bed I'm seeing on this lake. This is the BG1 jig head with something funny. Something funny. We're just having fun experimenting. That's what I had on the line to tell you the truth from last time. But let's see if this here is let's let's confirm by catching some brightly orange colored males. I hope my talent will hold me here because I'm on a point. Boogie usually don't make beds on points, but I'm on a point. There's a lot of traffic here. It's gonna shake me up pretty good, for sure. Hopefully my talent doesn't break. I don't know if this is... I need uh, some some new side imaging, electronics. Uh, mine is really old. Sometimes I can't exactly tell if it's bad or not. Yeah, that's that I believe is a bad folks. But just in comparison to the other bluegills I showed you, that were not bedding fish. Um, because I caught them two months ago. Uh, this is a little guy. And he ate... Gosh dang it, how did you eat it so deep, dude? Okay, this little guy will not survive. I mean, I used the dehooker, I tried to save him, but... You can't save them all. And I couldn't save this guy. If I deep hook another fish, I'm gonna be switching to trout magnet. Sometimes the fish like some lures too much and they uh, hit them to, to eat them. While with trout magnet, I think they just wanna kill that thing. I just don't, 
deep hook many fish with trout magnet. Yeah, this is a bed, I believe. This is a bed that's not impressive, but... Okay, that's a, that's a better bluegill here. Okay. And he's properly hooked. That's a better bluegill. Come on now. Come on. This guy will be over 7 inches. And he's got gorgeous colors. But this is like a, the lower end on what's on what's nice. Okay, anything smaller than this is too small. Let's see how my uh, and I can feel these nips on loose line with the polyester. Another nip on loose line, folks. I have slack, and I can still feel them hitting it on loose line. How did I miss so many? I think this worm is a little too... a little too long for them. I think this worm is a little too long. Oh no! Deep hooked again. Yeah, I think they like the worm. I think they like the worm. Um, but this red dot here is making them key on the dot and hit only the dot, I think. Catch one more. This one got out easy. Catch one more and uh, switch to the trout magnet. I'm getting nibbles, but from very small fish. This one feels a little better. This one is acceptable. Look here. Look here. Why are you always like this? I don't understand. Look at here. He's properly hooked. He's properly hooked. Excellent colors, excellent shape, everything, but a little small, a little too small. There we go. Uh, fishing beds is awesome, folks. It's awesome. It's awesome, and that's a male, that's a bedding male, but look how small he is. Look how small he is. By the way, when this, uh, come on, man, he ate the warm jeep again. Okay. And the worm is torn. Anyway, I don't want to deep hook any more fish with this uh, worm. I think they like it, but but they're deep hooking it. Let's try this trout magnet. This is black and red. I don't know the name of it, but to tell you the truth, black and red looks almost as amazing. Look at this. Almost as amazing as the bison, which is my favorite color. But black and red, when the water is kind of yellowish from the mud, um, I mean, the body of the bison is already yellow and in, in muddy yellow water uh, doesn't stand out at all like they want to eat it but they can't see it uh, and I had uh, two days ago I fished in very muddy water I tied this guy on I feel the black and red stands out better in, uh, in yellowish water That is absolutely awesome. If only this fish had another inch on them. 
if only they had another inch on them. One. And nine remaining. Man, it feels good. It feels good, folks. I know these bluegill are small, but can you imagine if, if you could fish for bluegill beds 12 months a year? Even 10 months a year, even 6 months a year. Like in the winter when you can't find a bite. How awesome would it be to just get the boat and go find a bed and just get some bites. Test, test your equipment. Just feel, feel the, the bite of a bluegill. Feel the angriness of a bluegill. Instead, they come all at once in May. You don't know where to go fishing first. Where to go fishing first. You don't know. Here's number three. Here is number three. And seven left. I mean, it's, it's so fun. And they are pretty, they just... I mean, they're getting smaller every year on this lake. Last year, I feel they were a little bigger. That's what I remember last year. Okay, seven more. Let's cast more to the left. A little deeper. Maybe we find something a little deeper. We find something, but it's not bigger. Yeah, for this kind of fish that I'm catching right now, I don't know if you're gonna find a better rod than uh, this extra ultra light 5 foot 10 Presso Air AGS. Yeah, they already cater to. They already cater to. They already cater to. Um, but it's easier to twitch a trout magnet. It's easier to fish with this rod than with the eradicator because it's a little shorter and it's a little less wobbly. It's just as fun to fight them with the eradicator. Eradicator is just as sensitive. Uh, man, immediately. That was number four. But this one is because it's a little shorter and a little tighter. A recovery is faster, uh, less wobbly. When you twitch, 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 it's you have better contact with your jig uh, compared to the eradicator. Better contact with your jig. I would say in terms of fishing performance, this one is a little better. But in terms of fun factor and Altogether satisfaction and enjoyment of the product. I love my eradicator just as much. Yeah. Man, on the slack line, I feel them with so much slack line. It's incredible. These Varivas polyesters for little bluegill. There is no beating them. There is no beating them. Absolutely incredible. Still running with it. <laughs> These little boogies have a character, man. They have a character. They have a character. Come on, dude, let go. But see, not a single fish deep hooked with the trout magnet. Um, I'm telling you, the Zimmon and this worm. That's where the deep, it's not the jig head. People very often blame the jig head for this and that. But with the same jig head, I can tell you the Zimmon gets eaten deep. This worm I'm trying now. Um, folks, this one is a little bit different. Maybe a juvenile bass or a real bluegill. Is it possible that we caught a real bluegill? That, that would make me stay on this bed. But I think it's not the jig head. Well, the jig head plays a role too. If you put a size 8 hook, not many bluegill will get deep hooked with size 8 hook. No argument there. 
but even with the same now that is a proper come on now that here is a proper bluegill i will hit the ruler with this one i will hit the ruler with this one is this number six eight inch bluegill this is over eight but i don't want to go people always go to the next slide over eight eight and some millimeters without any kind of stretch perfect colors he even got the what is it called this bump on top of the forehead to make him extra angry and intimidating that's a good bluegill ah, folks i had uh, several empty casts several empty casts i'm not sure what the reason is i think i'm casting there i get what one nip and that's it for the whole cast this one feels not like the last one but not like the big one but he felt okay for a for a few seconds see how they eat the trout magnet trout magnet is very eco-friendly not eco-friendly but population friendly fish friendly i'm telling you that's my theory the bluegill hit the trout magnet to kill it they hit it like when you unhook them it's exactly where they bite, their bite is the strongest they're not trying to eat it they hit it to kill it <clears throat> cast all the way there i'm starting to have uh, trouble catching fish folks yeah they're gonna nip it but the big ones i already caught what's left is suspicious so okay we catch this one and three more this one feels feels half decent we're gonna catch this one and three more and we'll be off to new pastures this one is nah like six and a half this bed is you know from what i know if you asked me what kind of fish do you expect on this bed i would say i expect big ones because here on this point next to deep water you don't get very many beds and when you get they're usually big It's a mistake to try to catch very last fish from the bed because you can catch 80% of the fish for 30 minutes and then the, the next 10% for another 30 minutes and the last 10% you ain't never gonna catch they get spooked they get spooked even if you see them on live scope uh, they get spooked and it's hard to catch every last fish of the bed all right two more come on one more eight incher whoop this one hit well fighting good but he is small after all he is small after all talking like catfish dave now come on last fish oh man he's small we got one eight incher out of this bed a few seven inches the rest was smaller there is more fish here folks but let me pull some line and break the tip of my rod let me leave you with this image have you noticed that uh, bluegill is kind of the the species that matches the colors of the press of the most 
Imagine I had the orange wine here. Bluegill just matches the presso tackle perfectly. The black and orange. It's amazing. Oh. Okay, only one fish killed, the very first one on the worm. Zero fish deep hooked with the trout magnet. It's a decent first bed of the year. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna skedaddle before I break my poor talon because it's shaking, it's shaking like this, you know. And that's very easy to snap something. Folks, thanks for watching this one. I will see you very soon with very many bluegill bed videos. Bye bye.